Вітаю! Це брифінг, присвячений викриттю брехні та пропаганди держави-агресора, яка... Hello! This briefing is dedicated to exposing the lies and propaganda of the aggressor state, which has gradually come to its senses after the internal revolt and has turned its focus back to the lies about the war they started against Ukraine. First of all, let us refute the statement of the Russian Ministry of Defense, which justifies its missile attacks on the civilian infrastructure of Ukraine. In recent days, port terminals and crops have been destroyed, threatening the global food market, the Russian Ministry of Defense says. The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue to carry retaliatory strikes, as they say, with high-precision weapons against the workshops for the production and storage of unmanned boats in the areas of Odessa and Ilichovsk, Chernomorsk. This is a lie. Ports are being destroyed as well as warehouses where crops were stored, which were to be shipped to world food markets. Thus, Russia, as a terrorist state, is holding hostage not only Ukraine, but also the countries that suffer the most from global hunger. And despite this aggression, Ukraine will continue to take steps to export food to world markets. Ukraine's political leadership, led by the president, is taking all measures to secure our ports and infrastructure for the Green Initiative. The military leadership has been instructed to prepare a set of actions to continue the operation of the Green Corridor. We will not allow Russia to jeopardize world markets with its aggressive terrorist actions. Meanwhile, Russian leader Putin has been lying directly on global and international platforms as well as in Russia's domestic political market. In particular, during a meeting of the Russian Security Council, he lied, claiming that a Polish-Lithuanian-Ukrainian grouping of troops was planned to occupy Western Ukraine. In support of this lie, he cited the statement of Russia's foreign intelligence chief Naryshkin, who also said at the same meeting that Poland could take control of the western territories of Ukraine by deploying its troops there. Why is such a primitive lie being spread? The only purpose is to justify their own aggression against Ukraine in the international information markets, including among states that are wavering or undecided in their support for Ukraine. Another lie is Putin's statement in a conversation with a French propaganda journalist who allegedly wants to assemble a team for Western media to cover the situation in the occupied territories of the so-called DPR. Putin said, you know that the fighting in Donbass did not begin on February 24th, but much earlier. The so-called ruling elites abused their power and usurped the monopoly on it. Well, this is complete nonsense. The war began when Russia first armed terrorist groups in these territories and then brought its regular troops in. This was the beginning of the aggression in the Donetsk region. Meanwhile, we see in Russian propaganda media calls for the continued destruction of Ukraine's energy infrastructure ahead of the heating season. Putin's telegram channel, which is linked to the administration in the Kremlin, calls through the mouth of a military man, a so-called historian, in fact a propagandist Alexander if the Kyiv and the Parisian hydroelectric power stations are not blown up, the special military operation will last forever, and the offensive will lead to huge losses. That is, there is a direct call for the destruction of a number of other hydroelectric power plants. This is despite the fact that official Russian state propaganda denies any involvement in the terrorist attack they have already committed, the destruction of the Kakhovka hydroelectric power station. This statement made by the same channel is also a lie. Putin said in a telegram that in the midst of the war, Ukraine is spending hundreds of thousands of dollars to replace Soviet symbols, and the allocation of huge funds from the state budget has provoked a scandal. In fact, not a single penny of budgetary funds is used for these events. We are talking about contributions from patrons to remove the symbols of Soviet power from the monument. Similarly, the materials posted on Russian propaganda TV news are also lies. 
In particular, Vesti Nideli went so far as to report on the alleged production of 200 southern drones and alleged plans to produce a million drones. Thus, it seems that this scale of production of Lancet drones should impress the whole world. In fact, if you look at this story, it is a lie too. There is no such scale, and the figure of 200 southern drones was a joke a reference to the famous Star Wars film series. However, Russian propagandists forgot to mention this reference. Thus, they spread the lie to the whole world on a scale much larger than the actual fictional drones. According to the Ukrainian general staff, 900 drones have been manufactured in Russia, most of which have already been used in the combat zone by the aggressor state. It is interesting to observe how Russia continues to search for international propagandists to tell the lies it needs, using their foreign names, once again calling for help from the leader of the fringe French party patriot, Florian Philippe, who was outraged that Ukraine was demanding additional weapons. 300 tanks and 80 F-16 fighters, and soon they will want our nuclear bomb. Philippe was quoted as saying by Putin in Telegram. It sounds loud. In fact, this Philippe represents no one, has no representatives in the legislature or in any political positions in France. And his political force won less than 1% in the last election. Of course, the Russian audience does not know this and thinks that these words belong to some respectable politician. We also see Russia using the church to justify its aggression against Ukraine. In Russian propaganda news, you can see priests blessing Russian T-72 tanks that are going to the front line against Ukraine. Of course, the use of the church to justify the war itself is not Nothing new. This is typical for the aggressor state, and any attempts to investigate the subversive activities of the church on the territory of Ukraine are immediately justified by the fact that this is an attack on religious freedom. Well, in fact, in this way the Ukrainian special services are eradicating the sleeper agents of the aggressor state on our own territory, in Ukraine. Dear friends, the traditional call at the end of the briefing is that the aggressor state does not tell a word of truth, and there is no trust in their direct or hybrid propaganda messages, which they can hide behind names that are in tune with foreign media. Trust only Ukrainian media, including Freedom TV channel if you want to watch news in Russian, or UATV in English. These are both foreign broadcasting channels as well as the Ukrainian National Telethon, the Ukrainian political and military leadership. See you.